Hello and welcome back once again to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, your host. Everybody I know has a cell phone. Whether you're a little kid, all the way up to an old person, everybody has a cell phone. The only real difference seems to be how much they use the cell phone. Old people, they tend mostly just to use the phone for maybe text and for phone calling, while the younger generation tends to use their phone like a $5 hooker. They know every feature and they know everything on. I could probably walk up to any 12-year-old who has a phone and he'll know more about it than any 50 or 60-year-old. I know there's going to be some differences in between, but generally, that's how it is. And we're always looking to get a better cell phone. That said, LG is coming out with something really cool. It's going to feature a new 1.5 gigahertz, that's right, a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core processor in their new phone. This is the new Optimus 4X HD. Let's hop in and let's check out this new phone. <laughs> LG is getting things started with the Optimus 4 XHD. Inside, its NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor is clocked at 1.5 GHz. This is really fast. It also sits behind a 4.7 inch 1280 by 720 IPS display. That means it's really, really clear. The phone's also going to have an 8mm thin body. Thankfully, this phone's going to launch with Android 4.0, Ice Cream, and that should sing along quite nicely on the quad-core chip, along with 1 gigabytes of RAM and a 16 gigabyte internal storage capacity. It also features a 2150 milliamp battery to help with the massive processor. And lastly, it has an 8 megapixel camera in the back and a 1.3 megapixel camera in the front. All in all, really cool stuff. This thing should be coming out really soon. For all you fans out there who are into phones, this is something to take a look at. So that's it guys. You guys see LG's coming out with another new fast phone and I'm sure there'll be a lot of others to follow. The biggest thing about this is the Tegra 3 processor from Nvidia. This quad core bad boy is so small and it's actually faster than the very first processor I ever owned on a desktop. That said, see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech goodness.